Okay, let's do this question. I mean, I I could argue that it's similar to one of the early ones I did, but because it, it does have a different shape to it, I'm just going to, to do it still. The plan is to try and do questions that you can then infer and then... Um, but we have seen something like this. So I like drawing the graphs because I suppose I am teaching. So um, what we have here is um, units. And again, I have a situation where I have, we have 900 units. We have um, a situation. Well, I'll just start somewhere here. And I have total cost of 58,200. And the question says that variable costs are sort of the same constant up to a production level of 2,000 units per month. I mean, everything I'm making here is under that. So the slope of the slope or the gradient or the, the rate at which variable costs um, increase with every extra unit that's being produced is constant. Yeah? So um the, what we do have is a situation where the fixed costs um will increase by 6000 once we get to a production level of 1100 units right so let's kind of draw this so what what i'm saying is that i'm going to go all the way to i'll get to 1100 if you like and then it's going to increase by 6000 and we've seen something similar and then it 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 now carries on in that normal position where when I make 1,000 1,200 units it is total cost is 66,600 and then when I make 1,400 units the total cost is 68,200. Right, great stuff. So what is Oyen saying? Oyen is saying that um, in exactly applying the same principle, I know, again, it's, it literally is the same thing, is it? I'll just change my pen color just to sort of illustrate a little. I want to know that when this increases from 900 to 1,400 units, when you have a change in these units, I mean, technically, this is what I'm really trying to find, isn't it? this sort of space so again that's that 6000 extra that's causing this sort of anomaly so all i can do is i'm saying when when the, it goes from when you have that change in the number of units i i mean again i'm picking the most extreme point as you should that's um 68200 minus 58200 of course and minus the 6000 because that's what's extra. So really I can find the actual journey traveled from a variable point of view. Remember the fixed cost doesn't affect my variability in the unit cost. <clears throat> so when you do this, um, you will get um, 68,200 minus 58,200 minus 6,000, and that's equal to 4,000 divided by 1,400 minus 900, and that's 500, and that gives you eight pounds per, per unit. So now I know what the variable cost is, and that is constant up to 2,000 units. This question just wants to know what, I mean, what's going on with 1,100 units. Well, I can focus here because here I'm not at 1,100 and I can find what the fixed costs are. So if total costs are equal to fixed costs plus variable costs, and your total costs for 900 is at 900 units, right? I'll just pick this one, is 58,200. This is equal to fixed costs plus variable costs are eight pound times um, 900 units, and that's 7,200. So I have a situation that 58,200 is equal to fixed costs plus 7,200, which means that my fixed costs are equal to 58,200 minus 7,200, which gives me 51,000. So confident that I now have my fixed costs, I can go ahead and plug that in to find that. So because total costs are equal to fixed costs plus variable costs, 
so for 1,100 units, yes, for 1,100 units, I have a situation where I have fixed cost of 51,000 plus 8 times 1,100 units. So that's 51,000 plus 8,800, and that gives you um, 51,000 plus 8,800 units, and that gives you a total cost of 59,000. 800 right oh sorry no no that's not what it's asking me it's asking me what's the total cost when 1000 units are produced so i'll just change that that's instead of 1100 1000 so that's eight times a thousand and that's eight thousand so add the two together 51 right it's eight a thousand units i, I just erred there looking at that 51,000 plus 8,000 50, 51,000 plus 8,000 is equal to 59,000 so your answer is 59 thousand awesome great stuff question nine